Part 1. White Clouds. Great Tree Moon. Three Houses. The icy winds of the Agma Mountains have begun to scatter, and the verdant fields once again spring to life across Fodlan, heralding the start of a new year. As they celebrate the dawning year, the people pray that they may realize their full potential, just as a tiny sprout hopes to one day grow into a great tree. The continent of Fodlan, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000-year-old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodlan and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. This will be your first time at the monastery. I'd be happy to show you around. It really is Fodlan in a nutshell. The good and the bad. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough. There it is. Garrick Mock Monastery. The flow of time bring you here. It's been years since I've last set eyes on this place. To be forced to see her now, uh... You saw her in the courtyard earlier, didn't you? The Archbishop, Lady Rhea. As you know, the majority of folks in Fodlan are devout followers of the teachings of Seros. The leader of that ridiculously large religious organization is the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Thank you for your patience, Gerald. My name is Setic. I am an advisor to the Archbishop. Right. Hello. It has been a long time, Gerald. I wonder, was it the will of the Goddess that we have another chance meeting like this? Forgive my silence all these years. Much has happened since we last spoke. So I see. The miracle of fatherhood has blessed you. That is your child, is it not? Yes. Born many years after I left this place, I wish I could introduce you to the mother of my child, but I'm afraid we lost her to illness. I see. My condolences. As for you, I heard of your valiant efforts from Alois. What is your name? A fine name indeed. 
From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for saving those students of the Officer's Academy. <laughs> Gerald, you already know what it is I wish to say, do you not? You want me to rejoin the Knights of Seros, don't you? I won't say no, but... Your apprehension stings. I had expected that Alois would have already asked this of you. I must step away for now, but I expect they will desire a word with you soon. Please listen carefully to what they have to say. Until tomorrow, farewell. Ah, I can't believe it. Force back into the Knights of Seros. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. And I'm afraid your services are requested as well. Nothing like that. They want you to teach, by the sound of it. You heard those brats earlier talking about the Officers Academy, right? Well, the Academy just happens to be short a professor. And apparently that damned Alois went and recommended you to Lady Rhea. So, you must be the new professor. My, how stern and handsome you are. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not the one you're looking for. You can handle things from here. Good luck. And watch out for Lady Rhea. I don't know what she's thinking making you a professor like this. She may be up to something. Stay on your guard. Oh, it's you then? So young. Competence and age are not necessarily correlated, as you well know. I am Hanneman, a Crest Scholar and Professor at the Officer's Academy. I wonder if you bear a crest of your own. When next you have a moment to spare, I insist that you pay me a visit so we can delve into the subject further. I'm Manuela. I'm a professor, a physician, a songstress, and available. It's nice to meet you. Of course. Before I came here, I belonged to a renowned opera company. Perhaps you've heard of me? The Middlefranc Opera Company is beautiful, peerless. Spare our colleague the needless chatter, Manuela. Now then, it seems you'll be taking charge of one of the Academy's three houses. I expect you haven't yet been briefed on the nature of each, have you? Do you really not know? Fine. I'll do you a favor and explain. The Officers' Academy is comprised of three houses of students, each of which is closely affiliated with its region of origin. The Black Eagle House is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Their house leader this year is Edelgard, the Imperial Princess, who is in line to be the next Emperor. The Blue Lion House is for students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Their house leader this year is Prince Dimitri. He is to be the next King of Fargus. Lastly, there is the Golden Deer House, which is for students of the Leicester Alliance. Their house leader is Claude, grandson to Duke Regan, the leader of the Alliance. To think that the next Emperor King and Sovereign Duke are all here. It certainly is a promising year for the Academy. I'll say. I just hope none of those little treasures cause any trouble. Hmm, quite. For now, I suggest taking a stroll around the Academy to get your bearings. And when you've a moment, please stop by my research laboratory. The old man has a point. Oh, and keep in mind that I've only notified the house leaders that you're our new professor. It's more fun that way. I suggest you try spending time with the students. Some odd ducks in that bunch, but they're good kids. I'm sure Lady Rhea will have more information for you tomorrow. 
But that should get you going. Good luck. You'll need it. Have you no intention of changing your mind, Rhea? Appointing a stranger, a child no less, as a professor at our esteemed academy is... I have made my decision, Sedith. I know worrying comes naturally to you, but there is truly no need. That stranger is Geralt's flesh and blood, after all. I can't say that's all too comforting. How trustworthy is this Geralt character? Is he not the man who went missing after the Great Fire 21 years ago? I would remind you that Flane is now here with us as well. I beg of you, please consider whether this is an unnecessary risk. Sadith, they have my trust. Let that be enough for you as well. More importantly, I have received a report from Shamir. I am increasingly concerned about a matter regarding our suspicious individual. We cannot ignore those who harbor ill will toward the Church, especially if they are frequenting Garrick Mach. Yes, that matter is of great importance as well. I shall continue my investigation. Rhea, for now I will have faith that you are placing your trust with the utmost care. I pray that nothing occurs to shake that confidence. Of course. Ha! I imagine you were a bit surprised that I recommended you as a professor here. Frankly, we had someone else in mind for the role, but they ran off during our dust-up with the bandits. Can't entrust students to someone who's abandoned them once before, huh? You saved the lives of the students you came across. That, at least, was admirable. Now, you should make the rounds. Go around the monastery and see that you greet everyone. I assume you are already aware that you will be teaching here at the Officers' Academy, correct? To start, please speak with the three house leaders. You should also take a look around the Academy and acquaint yourself with your new home. That is your first task here at the Monastery. Please let me know if you accept it. Once you have finished, come and speak with me. May I ask a favor of you?
so you've accepted a teaching position here. Pity, I was hoping you would lend your strength to the Empire. I never properly introduced myself, did I? My name is Edelgard von Hressbelk. I am the princess and heir apparent of the Adrestian Empire. I wonder if you'll be tasked with leading the Black Eagles. I hope you've had a chance to meet everyone. Would you like to know more about any of the Black Eagles? So you've accepted it. I never prop. I am the prince. I wonder if you'll. I hope you've had a chance to meet everyone. Me? Well, some think I'm a bit distant, arrogant even, but there's little to be done. One day, I must rise to become Adrestia's next emperor. What else? Well, it seems to me that we may have similar personalities. Hubert is the heir of Marquis Vestra. He has served me since I was a child. You may think his blood runs a bit cold, but <laughs> actually that's rather accurate. Still, if you can get past that, you'll see he's quite astute and reasonable. She's Count Varley's only daughter. I suppose you could say she's a bit eccentric, but she seems like a gentle soul. I believe she shut herself away in her quarters and doesn't care to leave, but don't worry. I'll make sure she finds her way to class. Few commoners have joined the Black Eagle House, but Dorothea is an exception. She's a songstress from a famous opera company in the Empire. I'm not entirely sure what brought her to the Officer's Academy. To the west of Fodlan is an archipelago called Brigid. Petra is the granddaughter of their king. Brigid is a vassal state of the Empire, which is how she came to be enrolled here. She's incredibly smart and studious. He's the second son of Count Burgley's. He has no inheritance in his future, which is perhaps why he's always so eager to prove himself. He's overly energetic and rushes headfirst into any battle. If he ends up in your care, be sure to keep a close eye on him. He's remarkably intelligent, but he only wishes to apply himself to tasks that particularly interest him, and nothing else. He's also fond of, well, napping. If he had any work ethic or sense of duty to speak of, I suppose he would be destined to become an official of the Empire. For some reason, he thinks of me as a bitter rival and is always trying to challenge me. It's terribly irritating. His house is that of Duke Iyer, which produces Adrestia's prime ministers. That family is... perhaps too pleased with its own status. Pardon me. Greetings! You must be the new professor. What a pleasure. As for me, my job is to stand here at this glorious entrance and leisurely watch over the comings and goings of everyone. Make folks smile, you know? Uh, and by that, I mean to vigilantly guard this entrance with my very life. No levity whatsoever. As of now, nothing to report. scored a teaching gig here, did you? Talk about a great first impression. I guess that means I'd better introduce myself properly. I'm Claude Von Regan. I'm from the ruling house of the Leicester Alliance, but don't worry too much about all that madness. I'm guessing you don't know which class you'll be teaching yet, do you? I bet you'd like ours. We're not as difficult as the other two. Have you met the folks from the Golden Deer House yet? Care to know more about anyone? Hill 
Matilda is the only daughter of Duke Goneril. It seems her father and brother coddle her quite a bit. If you look up lazy in the dictionary, her picture won't be there because she never got around to submitting it. Not too unusual for a noble, I guess. Leone enrolled because she wants to be a mercenary. I think she said that her father is a hunter. She's pretty blunt and as stingy as they come. A habitual saver, too. I think she's hoping to repay her village for helping to send her here. Marianne is Margrave Edmund's daughter, and that's pretty much all I know about her. She doesn't interact much with other students, so I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of folks here have never even heard her speak. Lysithia is the daughter of Count Ordelia, and is probably the youngest student here. But watch out, she gets angry if you treat her like a child. As for me, I do it on purpose. You have to make your own fun in this place, you know? He's the second son of a merchant family. Since his brother will inherit the business, he's training to become a knight. If you ask me, it doesn't seem like he truly wants to be a knight. He's probably just doing it to please his parents. He comes from a merchant family, but his parents died in an accident. Seems like he's had a rough life. Despite all that, he's just about the most cheerful guy you'll ever meet. His passions are training, eating, and actually that's about it. He's the heir of Gloucester territory. If you haven't already picked up on him, he's a bit arrogant and fancies himself a ladies' man. That said, Deep down, he's really devoted and honest. Though I wouldn't mind never hearing him talk about his noble obligations ever again. <laughs> Piqued your interest, have I? As luck would have it, I'm pretty curious about you as well. But what's life without a bit of mystery? Let's just spend the next year or so learning about each other little by little. You must be the renowned mercenary who rescued Claude. Honestly, you should not have troubled yourself over the likes of him. My name is Lawrence Hellman Gloucester. You will want to remember it. Are you someone's guest? The dining hall's that way, if that's what you're looking for. No, Raphael. That's Captain Gerald's kid. Hi, I'm Leone Pinelli, Captain Gerald's first and greatest apprentice. I'm sure he's told you about me. Nice to meet you. I'm Raphael Kirsten. Who are you again? Um, um, so you're the skilled mercenary who saved Claude, are you? Oh, you are? It's such an honor to meet you. Ignatz Victor. My parents are Alliance merchants. And I am Lysithia von Ordelia. Please do not forget it. Hey, are you that mercenary? Everyone's been talking about you. I'm Hilda Valentine Goneril, and her name is... M Marianne von Edmund. Are you joining the Knights of Saros or something? Well, I look forward to seeing more of you. What do you think? Okay. Hi there. You must be the one everyone's talking about. I'm Ash. Great to meet you. This here is Dudu. He serves Prince Dimitri. I have heard that you rescued His Highness. Words cannot express my gratitude. Should you ever require my strength, please know that I will hasten to repay this debt. about what you did from Prince Dimitri. As a citizen of Fargus, I thank you. He also said you're quite skilled. And he doesn't just say things like that. 
I look forward to sparring with you and beating you. Felix, must you always speak of fighting right away? Oh, and, uh, you may call me Ingrid. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Hey, hey! Hey there! Are you the mercenary who saved his highness? It's an honor to meet you. I'm Sylvain Jose Gautier. Feel free to say hi whenever you like. Hey. And who's this? You don't look familiar at all. Do you work here at the monastery? Oh, mercy! Do you think this is that mercenary people have been talking about? Now that I think about it, that does sound like something Dimitri may have said. I suppose you'll be enrolling at the Officer's Academy too, then? Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Mercedes, and this is my best friend. I'm Annette. It's nice to meet you. Hey, hey. Huh? Okay. This classroom belongs to the Blue Lion House. Our house leader is Prince Dimitri. All of us here hail from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. This is the classroom of the Black Eagle House, which is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Our house leader is Princess Edelgard. There are many other nobles among our ranks as well. Oh. Oh, come on. Ah! What? I don't talk to strangers. Bernadetta, this is no stranger. Our house leader owes this person a great debt. Is that not right? I am Ferdinand von Eyre, legitimate son of the Eyre family, the Empire's foremost house. Are you going to join our class? I look forward to getting better acquainted with you. Greetings. Hello. Well, aren't you just lovely? Is this your first time in the monastery? Shall I show you around? Oh, my name is Dorothea. Before I joined the Academy, I was a member of an opera company in the Empire. You should hear me sing sometime. Is it true that you saved Edelgard? That's incredible. The name's Kaspar, by the way. Pleased to meet you. Linhard, goodbye. Sheesh, Linhard. How'd you get into the Academy with those manners? So, are you a student here too? Maybe we'll be in the same class. I am Hubert, a humble servant of Lady Edelgard. I heard you came to the aid of Her Highness. You have my most sincere thanks. This is Petra. She has come all the way from Brigid to study in the Empire. Back on her archipelago, she is actually a princess. In Fodlan terms, she would be called heir to the throne. Hello, I am called Petra. I am pleased to be meeting with... Uh, no, uh, I am pleased to have met you. Oh, hey. Hello. Please accept my apologies for the other day. You came to our aid, yet I hadn't even the courtesy to properly introduce myself. I am Dimitri Alexandra Blathed, Crown Prince of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Of course, at the Academy, I am simply a student. And I've heard word that you are to become a professor here. Delightful news. I still have much to learn, but I'm confident I could benefit greatly from your guidance. In any case, welcome to the monastery. I hear you're investigating the different houses here. Did any of the Blue Lions catch your attention? Me? Oh, um... <laughs> please, forgive me. It's difficult to open up on the spot, don't you think? I'm afraid my story has not been a pleasant one. I do hope that doesn't color your view of me, but I understand if that can't be helped. Dudu was born in Dusker, and has been loyally working in my service for the past four years. He's rather taciturn, but once you get to know him, you'll see he's a kind and good-natured young man. Felix is the heir to House Fraldarius. He has a bit of a sharp tongue, but don't let that fool you. Deep down, he's a good guy. 
He gravitates toward people who are skilled. Perhaps you would enjoy a friendly competition with him sometime. He's the adoptive son of Lord Lenato of Castle Gaspar, but I hear he was born a commoner. He has an extremely earnest personality, so I'm certain he will approach your lectures with great enthusiasm. Sylvain is the heir to House Gautier. He is a capable person who highly values his friends. That said, well, he's always been a bit of a... <clears throat> skirt chaser, so to speak. Pardon my bluntness. I speak with him about it often, but it doesn't seem to help. I hear she was born to Imperial nobility, but a twist of fate brought her to the kingdom. She may seem carefree on the surface, but she's actually a kind soul who pays careful attention to everyone around her. Annette is Baron Dominic's niece. She is a talented student who scored extremely high marks at the Royal School of Sorcery. She's cheerful and hardworking. Brilliant, really. Though, she can be a bit oblivious at times. I hear she caused an explosion in the kitchen last night. Ingrid is Count Galatea's daughter. She is also a childhood friend of Felix, Sylvain, and myself. She is diligent, industrious, and principled. In truth, she is more knightly than most knights you will ever meet. I appreciate your effort. I teach here. Weapon instruction. These are the training grounds. Goodbye. Busy, so could you please move along now? Thanks. Okay, now, what else did Lady Rhea need doing today? What happened? Here I am again, the office of the Captain of the Knights. That said, I'm merely here to assist. Apparently, the current captain is getting on in years. I hear the captain has a hard time keeping up with the responsibilities of the job. Ah, <sighs> that's where I come in. This is my research laboratory. I've worked hard to furnish it with the rare materials and purpose-built equipment required for my work. This is my research... So soon? 
I expected we'd take some time, exchange a few smiles as we passed in the hall, flirt a bit, you know. Well, you're here now, and I do like a man who knows what he wants. Lock the door. Huh, that welcome didn't faze you at all, did it? What's the matter? Don't you like me? Or are you just so innocent you don't understand me? Are you enjoying your time at the Academy thus far? I hope you have found our halls brimming with the vitality of well-intentioned souls. Hmm. I suppose it is time for you to take charge of one of our three houses of students. I must note that I am personally against entrusting someone as lacking in trackable history as yourself with such a task. But it is as the Archbishop desires. The Black Eagles, the Blue Lions, and the Golden Deer. All so different. I hope you've made it a point to get to know each of them. Since you are new here, we have decided to allow you first pick. Manuela and I will take charge of the remaining two houses. So you have chosen the Golden Deer led by Claude, correct? Your heart has made its choice then. All I ask is that you guide these open minds with virtue, care, and sincerity. They are all promising youths who bear the weight of Fodlin's future upon their shoulders. I hope you appreciate what an honor it is to lead them. Brother? I am so sincerely sorry. I did not mean to interrupt. I am in the middle of something, Flame. Is it urgent? No, no, it's nothing. More importantly, who is this? This is our newest professor at the Academy. Oh my! A new addition to the Officer's Academy! I am so very pleased to meet you, Professor. I am Sedith's little sister, Flame. I am so happy to make your acquaintance. Let us focus on the topic at hand. There is something you should be aware of. In a few days' time, there will be a mock battle between the three houses, intended to gauge the current progress of the students. We will be using this battle as an opportunity to ascertain your own abilities as well. Please do not disappoint the Archbishop. That is all. Wait, what? Are you really our new homeroom professor? Is that true? You aren't quite what I had pictured. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean that the way it sounded. I was sure you'd be roped into joining the Knights. Don't tell me. You chose this class just to get to know me better, right? I'm flattered, really. <laughs> Whoops. Now that you're our professor, maybe I should choose my words more carefully. Oh, well then, since we're pretty close in age and all, I suppose formalities aren't all that necessary. One must truly marvel at the exceptionality of this appointment, becoming a teacher to students almost the same age as yourself. How unusual. I've heard you are a skilled mercenary, but I cannot shake my discomfort at your new position. Are you really as strong as they say? Let's see your biceps. I bet I packed on more muscle than you. I doubt that. Apparently, our new professor was personally recommended by Alois, one of the knights. As far as skill goes, I saw it with my own eyes. What's more, Teach here is the child of the most renowned former captain of the Knights of Saros. 
I heard. There's no way a child of the captain isn't worthy. It's simply not possible. The captain? Who are you talking about? Captain Geralt, of course. The most notable captain of the Knights of Saros and a peerless mercenary. No matter what you think of him, Captain Gerald deserves nothing but respect. Hmm. Well, after working as a mercenary alongside a father figure such as he, I have high hopes for our professor. Just because someone is special doesn't mean their children are special too, Lysithia. Assuming that a child is going to be exceptional just because of their lineage is a bad idea. Don't you agree, Marianne? Huh? Oh, um, yes, I suppose so. Well, we can find out for ourselves in battle. I can't wait to see what tactics you've learned from the captain. A battle? Shouldn't we have a welcome party or something first? I'll get the meat. How savage. I propose a nice conversation over tea instead. I am more than willing to procure some high-quality leaves. Tea? You can't get to know someone over tea. There's no meat involved. It's not a party. Your common sensibilities are grating to my noble ears. Please quiet yourself. Sorry for the bickering, Teach. As you can see, the Golden Deer House is a rowdy bunch. We're not especially unified. You'll find nobles and commoners alike here. Those who are dedicated to their studies alongside slackers. But hey, that just makes your life more exciting, right? I really hope you're looking forward to the year ahead as much as I am. 